in our state. The good thing for us is that that's not a field that's usually used very often. It is a practice field versus one of our competition fields. The school has not confirmed whether the pole was manufactured by a corporate-based Whitco company. The Consumer Product Safety Commission is investigating the now bankrupt light pole manufacturer. The CPSC reports at least nine incidents, mostly in North and Central Texas, where Whitco light poles have fallen, and at least 50 other light poles that show cracks and fractures at the base. The spectators we talked to were happy to drive elsewhere for the game. Wins like that, stuff's going to happen. Could have happened anywhere, it just happened to be at our school. The school did put barriers around many of the entrances to the fields there. They also blocked off one section of their parking lot at the school that was in the shadow of several of those light poles. Uh, tonight, the flower on Brandon Todd, Fox 4 News. Several school children were taken to the hospital with minor injuries after their bus rear ended a van that happened in Decatur. Happened this afternoon on Highway 287 in Hale Avenue. All of the kids are expected to be okay. A freshman football player at Tarleton State University in Stephenville died today, two days after he suffered a serious head injury during spring practice. The medical examiner has not released the cause of death for 18-year-old Zach Shea.